What's going on, everyone? It's Jeremy. I'm standing outside the Lego Land Discovery Center in Kansas City on the far side over there. That's where the Lego store entrance was. Let's go inside and see what's in the actual Discovery Center part. This was in the very beginning. It's all decorated for Halloween to start off with. So as soon as you go through here, we're going to go up to some elevators and the actual Discovery Center is on the second floor. But I'll take a quick look. Let me see my son messing with this world map that was all pretty interesting and these tubes that are just completely filled with lego as you wait for the elevator and then we've got a custom pumpkin thing going on here where if you wanted to sit and build your own pumpkin um, you could there was plenty of blocks to do that and you can see several people have placed theirs and built a couple other things <laughs> the bowling pins and they, yeah, there's the bricks right up front. So that was pretty fun. So after we went to the pumpkins, then we looked at a couple buildable or buildable, yeah, buildable minifigs that were about four and a half foot tall. And we found this funny guy. It looks like he wet himself <laughs> over here in kind of the knight's castle area. Um... This is right where one of the rides are, this Kingdom Quest, where it just goes around in a circle. And you can see it, my wife and son going around it. You kind of got to pedal. The harder you pedal, the higher you go. Just one of the two rides that are inside the Legoland Discovery Center. Then we went to Miniland, an arch. Pretty decent setup. I love the stained glass on that cathedral there. Most of it was all Kansas City related. So building wise, that, that's what you're getting with a lot of the stuff in here. Over here, we've got the, uh, the racetrack here, the NASCAR racetrack, which you could push a button and race the cars around. And then the soccer arena, which I think they were just getting ready to build or they're still building the brand new soccer arena that's there. In Kansas City so that was kind of neat to see and you can see the NASCAR track just the grandstand and the interior is Lego the, the track itself is not but the cars are and we go over here and just kind of see it it's just one kind of big room and there wasn't a lot of people here the stadium for Kauffman Stadium that was really neat they've got all the lighting systems set up so that was really cool to see and then right beside Kauffman Stadium is Arrowhead, which in reality, I guess they're, yeah, pretty close to that. Just separated by a parking lot. Some really neat, I guess, curvature work for the fields and stuff. And the logo made out of bricks. That was really neat. Very detailed. And then just the stands but that curvature of like the grandstand area that was really interesting for me and there's the entrance of the lego land kind of like what we started the video with with the courtyard out front and our buildings i think that is supposed to represent the tallest building in missouri which is actually in kansas city and not in st louis which i didn't know that until i was looking up a trivia thing for some other project Um, yeah. Oh, and the other thing was it kind of changes from day to night in the lighting system here. So it'll be daytime and nothing will be lit up. And then we go to night and then you see all the buildings with the lights and like the, the stained glass. So that was kind of neat where it just kind of rotated through to where you kind of had to stay in there for a while to get the full effect because a lot of the buildings have lighting. We've got some hot air balloons going around up top. That's just an interesting little feature. Then we've got this barn and train tracks going all the way around it. And the entire table platform is made out of Lego, which is kind of neat. Very simple design. I mean, nothing spectacular here with the, the landscape, which is almost non-existent other than the color difference. But you can see that whole table is built out of Lego. That's the more impressive part, at least to me. There's like a little mine in there. 
in some tracks. They didn't have any trains running on it, which was a little disappointing, but that's okay. I think you could build your own kind of push train that you just pushed along. Here's our medallion thing. I, I bought some medallions when I was in Legoland, Florida. So similar thing, I guess, since Merlin Entertainment owns the Discovery Center, they're big on medallions. So we bought the full set um, of five or four for 15 bucks. I think there were five a piece if you bought them individually. It's like, well, I might as well just get the set because I'm a coin collector too. And you can see that's just where the platform was. Here's the other thing in Miniland. I went back because there were some people in there that were kind of in the way to see the uh, Wizard of Oz set up. Which, yeah, all the little glowing lights and kind of just flickering. That was really interesting. For all the, the Emerald City. And then you can see the Yellow Brick Road. And the starting point. It's got a little bit of dust on it. A little dirty. Probably needs to be cleaned. But yeah, they just use jumpers. A tile, or yeah, tiles on top of jumpers to kind of get that look. So very interesting scene and then we've got a kind of a black and white just transfer <laughs> transitions to this black and white house in kansas and some more this was another little display this is an interesting little carriage idea but yeah you can see the dust on some of the stuff it's like we really need like them trees really need to be dusted the Roof lines on that was really, really cool. And one of the coolest things, and this is some kind of art museum, like the inverted lettering where it's recessed. I'm like, wow, I've never tried that. So this is something I'm going to try with that lettering the way it is, which is in reality how a lot of those museums are that are made out of marble all across the U.S. So I'm really interested in that. And another look at... Some curvature on that building. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see without being there, but really good job. I was impressed for the size and what was there. This was by far the highlight for me. And we got some lighting going on under the uh, police and fire trucks in this little entertainment center venue, which you push a button here and then those lights come on. Great feature by, <laughs> yeah, it, but that was really interesting too. And you can see this white house over here beside it, which was another really cool feature. I tried to get down because you can see the glass kind of panelings about four foot tall. Really, I love the way that siding turned out. Yeah, like I said, stained glass gives me some ideas. Winning Kansas City, the Kansas City Chiefs, so that whole trophy is made out of Lego. It's four and a half, maybe five foot tall. A nice mosaic. Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, you can tell by the hair. <laughs> Little mini helmet made out of Lego. A really simple design, too. I wish the camera would focus on that. You got the coach with the mustache. Andy Reid. I think that's his name. We have a couple other things. That ball, man, the shaping on that ball. Yeah, there's that design again. I really wish I would have zoomed in just to see how the parts, even more so, there you go, how that's placed. And the ball shaping is perfect, spot on. Same with the helmets, even with the logo the logo on the side. I was really, I, was impre I mean, I'm even impressed by a lot of the stuff in here, some of the displays. And then that whole sign there is made out of Lego under the flag. A little bit of 3D look to it. Okay, next up is our pizza shop where you can basically get a piece of pizza. You start with this plate and you put your own toppings on. You've got this full-size brick oven there and there's kind of your instructions and an idea for toppings. And you just put it in the oven and yeah, it's just like a little PlayStation area. Pull out a pizza, and yeah, the base plates are just glued to the back. So, I mean, those are solid pieces. And you just build your own pizza. So, it's just something else to do. There's a studio center there with kind of the 4D stuff. Um, 
different like half hour, 20 something minute long shows going every half hour. So we have probably 20 something minutes to be able to empty the theater. Yeah, full size buildable guy. Sprayed water on you a little bit. When we went and saw a Ninjago one. You really don't know what you're going to see until you get in there. And it was several different ones throughout the, the time that we were there. We only sat for one. We got wet enough <laughs> with a little spray. This is really cool. This is all sting. It's like a stained glass where there's light behind it. Just using all those trans colored bricks. And yeah, that's really cool. I think I may even possibly try to redo just the head shape there. That's why I was zooming in so much. Just to maybe recreate that one headshot. And the crown is really cool as well. Just using regular black, black, black bricks. And one by one studs of link. And then towards the end, we've got our wizard. And that beard is amazing. 